Another one that was supposed to be a show, but is now getting turned into something else, is the Wonder Man, what was going to be series, but now it seems like it's going to be a one-off special a la Werewolf by Night, which, oh, I can't stop raving about Werewolf by Night. It's so good. Um, but... We're supposed to be getting this Wonder Man special, and now we have our Wonder Man with Black Manta. Yaya Abdul-Mateen II is going to be the MCU's Wonder Man. Um, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't really know the character of the history of Wonder Man all that much, so I've never been that excited for this show until they announced that Des Destin Daniel Cretton, the guy who did Shang-Chi and The Legend of Ten Rings, was the one doing the show. I'm going... Cool. I don't care what it is. It could be Wong reading the phone book for an hour, and if it's as long as it's directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, I'm interested. Then you add Yaya on top of that. And I don't know what the show is, but I'm interested. I joke that he's Black Manta because it's a Marvel DC crossover now. But take Black Manta out of the picture. You've got spoiler alert for if you're that far behind on your shows, you've got Dr. Manhattan in Yaya Abdul-Mateen. You've got uh, him in Candyman. You've got him in Us. You've got uh, The Trial of Chicago 7, which I think is so good. He has uh, got such a varied uh, catalog so early in his career already. I think he's a phenomenal actor, and I love whenever I see his name attached to anything, I'm just going, you're a pretty good dude. I, I like when you show up and stuff. I also would not be mad at all if he showed up in a Creed movie at some point. Mm, but yes, uh, I I'll be honest. I'm not going to pretend I know who Wonder Man is. You know, <laughs> like you're supposed to on YouTube. You're supposed to pretend you know all the comic book characters. I don't really know who Wonder Man is. I believe he's like a, what a a TV personality or movie star that's a superhero at the same time. You can time. ask me all you want. I have no clue. In my head, I saw Wonder Man and I went like, okay, cool. So uh, uh, the Shazam, you know, name dispute is a problem, but this isn't. All right, cool, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, this is, yeah, sure. Okay. I think maybe I'll be, I'm, I'm excited because of the director and the actor. That's, that's the only reason I have no knowledge about who Wonder Man is. Um, I mean, you know, where does this fit in the canon? Where does he fit in the canon? Does it matter? Does uh, it's, it's like, it's more, it's more of a question about where we're going right now with Marvel, Marvel storytelling than it is anything about the actor, the director, or the, even the character of Wonder Man of just like, okay, so you keep giving us these series, but there's no, we have no idea why there's no, nothing other than, Hey, we want to do characters. Here we go. Um, which I'm not exactly like against. Cause like if, you know, DC did something like, like that with like, here's static shock, here's blue, blue beetle here's, and like just gave a series about all these people. I wouldn't hate it. It just, I wish there was a overarching story to a reason why we're just throwing people out there uh and, the, and it's not just like um they're they're it's not like they're treating movies like a comic book publisher well that's why i'm in favor of these like one-offs like like i said like werewolf by night did because it's 50 minutes to an hour it's a very self-contained story it makes me super excited for the guardians of the galaxy christmas special especially after watching that trailer with kevin bacon oh my god Gosh, I was like, okay, that's your it's hook. Fantastic. I'm interested. I'm I need to see this now. Um I'm hoping these um these one-off specials that they do, whether it's Werewolf by Night, whether it's Wonder Man, the Christmas special, whatever else, they will be canon to the MCU but have no bearing on the MCU, if that makes sense. Like Werewolf by Night has next to no references to the larger MCU canon. That was a very deliberate choice by Michael Giacchino to just go I want this to be my own thing. I want to make a love letter to old horror movies. And I'm just going, yes, please. I want to hug you, sir. You are a beautiful individual. <laughs> You've done good now. Go make go make the blade because blade needs you more than you need blade. Um, I want more of those of MCU, as we point out numerous times, is like a comic book series. You pick up the next issue, all of the next movie. I want these to be the annuals, the one-offs, that you don't need to be paying mm -hmm. attention to the larger continuity. You can just pick this up and then enjoy it, put it back down, 
revisit it whenever you want to, and it doesn't it exists in the universe but not have a larger implication. Um, I'll also say this now, as much as I would like Destin Daniel Cretton to still be attached to this, with him doing Kang Wars, Kang Dynasty, I mean, I'm still kind of curious how much stuff he's also going to have on his plate. Like, I still don't believe he's actually doing the Shang-Chi sequel. I think I'll be too preoccupied with Kang Dynasty because that's <laughs> obviously going to command a lot of his time and attention. So, I, I don't know. I... I'm more interested in this Wonder Man project now because of Yahya Abdul Mateen, but at the same time, it's Wonder Man. I I know more about the Wonder oh. Twins than I know about Wonder Man. <laughs> and in some ways, I'd be more interested in seeing that them come to life, but that's only because I have no idea who Wonder Man is. Ah, 